Welcome back guys it's Crypto Rocco here and in today's video I'll be doing a technical analysis on the altcoins that people have requested on this YouTube channel and on my Twitter and people that have emailed me some of the coins they want me to look at. So also guys I'll be talking about some of the coins that I'm looking for, for it to break out, some of the coins that are looking promising last uh, few weeks, Holo and um, Link have been two coins that myself and my YouTube subscribers have made some money from. I've talked about it from three weeks ago, a holo chain that was looking great and we've made some decent profit. So let's see if we can have another profitable month in February and over the next few weeks. So these are the coins that people have requested and I will be going through. Um, I haven't got BTT on there, I haven't got the main one. So I'll talk about BTT as well, don't worry about it. BTT has been the coin that's been really popular. Um, I have been reading their white paper, so I will be making a detailed video on BTT soon. Maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I'll be talking about the fundamentals. Today I'll talk about the technical analysis and two BTT trades I've taken. I've shared exact levels where I bought it on my Twitter um, so, and, and on my YouTube videos I talked about how I'm trading BTT and how high it can go. So go watch them videos if you want. So guys I'll talk about that. So let's get started with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin guys, um, I, I shared this tweet probably about uh, almost a few weeks ago now that I was looking for a Bitcoin bounce around here. Again, I'm, I don't delete my tweets, I'm really honest um, and I try to be transparent with my trading and um, I don't charge any money for courses, I'm just sharing my thoughts and if you benefit from it all I'd, I'd really appreciate if you just give me a subscribe and share this video and turn on the notification button and smash the like button, I'd really appreciate if you do that. This will be a long video guys so I will uh, leave a key below on which time I'm covering these coins to make it easier for you to click on the exact time and find out where, where how what I'm thinking about your coin and the coins that you requested. So Bitcoin I was looking for a bounce here there is a potential that could be that we can have a bounce here almost like a double bottom 786 level we could bounce higher from here so that is what I'm looking out for Bitcoin and hopefully it plays out but a warning though I've left it in the title and I've tweeted about this about a fake uh, Bitcoin yeah, I've just tweeted it's not really re reloaded so about a fake breakout so what I'm saying is what it could do it could just move sideways uh, on a breakout on low volume and boom it can go down so I hope that it doesn't happen I'll try to find an example for you oh come on this is kinda annoying when it happens so that was more of a descending triangle but maybe this bit the, maybe that's not the best example but yes if it doesn't break out with volume guys I wouldn't be looking to trade and it could break down so that is that is my thoughts on Bitcoin guys Ethereum it was definitely there was definitely a really good short um, there I didn't take that trade uh, I, I, I saw it after that was a really good um, short trade on the shorter time frame that was a nice trade people could have taken um, and it's moving, there's a potential swing failure pattern but it's going into that zone again. If it breaks out, I'd probably look to sell again. So we're not really sure what's going on with Ethereum and you can draw a trend. I'm not really looking to trade Ethereum. It's probably slightly bullish than Bitcoin because um, it had a bigger pump. So it's still near the 618 level, it's not touched 786. But you can draw a trend line here as well and draw it as like a wedge. So that is what I'm looking at for Ethereum. Litecoin, I am in a trade. Litecoin, apologies, it looks a bit messy, but I was trading it, so and I'm still in a long position for Litecoin, and it, there could be a potential higher high here. So, Litecoin is probably the most bullish out of the main three or four coins. Um, I've tweeted about this that I'm long in Litecoin and sitting in some profit. XRP, guys, always be looking at the bigger coins. XRP, again, I'm very transparent, and um, I thought that XRP would go short here it would break down it didn't happen how I predicted it. with the news it broke out higher but it didn't hold this level and potentially it could be breaking down to kind of my prediction what I thought um, again I've got a lot of XRP fans on my YouTube channel I'm just being honest guys this might not happen it could go on a crazy run here because it's probably the 886 level but this is my thoughts and that is how I'm looking to trade um, so let's have a start let's start looking at your coins 
before I look at Aeon, let me look at BTT, guys, because BTT, I'm sure a lot of you are here for BTT. So let's have a look at BTT. So BitTorrent, guys, um, I did take a trade here. I'm sure I've, you can go read this thread on uh, my Twitter and on my previous YouTube video. I go about go uh, just explain this trade. So I took some profit at 10% and then some tw at 20%, and I bought it near the double bottom, and it was a decent trade there potential 618 level there was a, a 618 uh, ABC potentially 50% level moving average but now it look it's forming that pattern that I always talk about kind of spike up and then smaller high and then break down and this could be forming that so I've still I've taken like I said nice profits um, I've got my stop below it maybe this could be the zone that I might look to buy again but that is what I'm looking at so this could be the A I traded that B and this could be the C down and then it could go higher I definitely think there will be one massive leg higher for BitTorrent I'm not sure where, um, where it will be um, Again, I'll talk about BitTorrent in the future, but I do think it may it will break down, but there will be another spike up. Not sure it will break to the newer highs, but it will definitely there will be a big spike to play out. So I will be looking out for that. So let's start looking at your coins. Aeon, this will be a longer video, guys. I hope you guys are patient enough to watch this and you get you are getting something from watching this video. So Aeon guys. Let's have a look at the daily. Always start up from higher time frame. As you can see, I think someone said it could be forming a bottoming pattern, and you can see that level is holding. But is it doing something what like BTC did that descending triangle and break down? Um, potentially, guys, that is my thoughts. But you can say that this is forming a strong support. This is kind of the accumulation or distribution zone, and it will spike up. That that is a possibility. But I'm not really looking to trade it. Um, it's your if you're holding I probably wouldn't sell it until I see a complete breakdown but that's just my thoughts on um, Aeon guys and um, potentially there's some support at 6118 uh, that I talked about in my previous trade in BitTorrent so there could be some support but it's below the moving averages it's in a massive downtrend and um, if you like if this is just trading thoughts guys if you're trading you can listen to these thoughts if you are a um, if you are a the investor and you like it long term and um, you've got a different strategy to me but I'm just showing you, you if, if I was trading it what I look for so holo chain another very popular coin and uh, my, my, my most popular book my, my, my most profitable trade this year holo chain we've traded it really well you can go watch all the videos from four weeks ago I've been talking about it since around here so when it broke out the previous highs that is when I got really excited uh, with holo chain when it broke that level and again, I talk about these fib levels. You can see it's at the 1618 level, so that is a key zone. But it looks to be breaking out. It could be a fake breakout and maybe some volume, but yeah, volume is dying out as well. Um, so I'm not in the holo chain now, guys. Um, I'm, I'm gonna wait out of it. I think it's done its run now. We'll have to see if it breaks out again. But holo chain, if you, it could be a project that you might like long term and you're still holding it. But when it broke down that level, I think we'll see it maybe down here or at least here. That's my targets for. I might remake videos and see where there are targets here. So that is my thoughts on Holo Chain. Let's have a look at the next one. Waves. I was feeling the waves in waves. I did take a trade on waves previously. Oh, I've got this drawn. So this can be played now. This was probably my thoughts when I made the previous video on waves. We'll see if this plays out. That was my thoughts on waves. It could potentially play play out like this. I think I traded it around here um, a couple of weeks ago, and then when it double topped and it couldn't break out, I think I got out around here. So waves again. You could. It's kind of range now. It's in a range. So there's resistance here. See if it can hold this level. That would be kind of a range. Unless it breaks out of it, I wouldn't really look to trade it. If it kind of forms like a swing failure pattern and it falls breakout, you could look to buy it. But I wouldn't sell it or buy it here. But Waves is definitely in an upward trend, so I will be keeping an eye out for it. We've not really seen other coins, you know, break into or go near its previous below 2017 highs in any other coin. So Waves is definitely a stronger coin. Maybe I look to buy it around that level. So that's what I'm looking at for Waves. It's not a bad shout, and I'm looking at Waves as well. BTS, I'm not sure what this is. Um, I'm not sure who suggested it. 
but I've got it in my list so I will be talking about it and going through it for you so BTS where is BTS BitShares Bitcoin Poloniex I don't use Poloniex is it on Binance Sorry about this guys, let me see if it's on Binance or looks to be a popular coin anyway. Bit shares. It is on on Binance. Binance shares. There we go. So guys, wow I did look at it. Right, this is actually a good recommendation. I'm not sure who recommended it, but this looks like a good recommendation. I might add it on my other trading view account and um look to trade this. It's got some some volume spike. Volume is dying down. But if I was trading today, I would have tra taken this trade. Moved above is is it above his daily moving average as well. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad, guys. I'll add it on my uh, on Binance and then on my other trading view account. This doesn't look too bad at all. Does that work? The fib level is not very good on this one. I'll probably ignore the spike. This is not too bad. If it gets above that um that resistance level guys and it breaks out with volume, I would look to trade it. This is looking decent. So yeah, whoever recommended it, guys, tweet to me, guys. That this looks like a decent coin. It's probably one of the only coins I've liked since uh, I'm analysing the coin. So one chain Bitcoin. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, it's broken market structure, guys. Yeah, it's not really from the bottom. It is ion did, or aon, however you want to pronounce it. This is not looking too good. I mean, look, I could be completely wrong and it can bounce up to here, but it's not my strategy. Um, and I don't think it's higher probability, so I wouldn't really be looking to trade it. It's not really looking that great for me. Um, it's up to you guys what you guys think, but if you like it as a project, you can invest it for long term. But I wouldn't be looking to trade it. It's, it again, it's two different trading and, and investing. If you like it long term, you could look to trade it. But like I've said, I'm not really looking uh, to buy this and one chain is not looking as good to me. Let's have a look at the next one. I might have to do a separate video for the coins that I'm liking, guys, because this video is going on too long. Um, and I'll definitely add um, the key to it to say when I'm looking at your coins. So Sky is not too bad. It's, again, I don't like buying when it's bottoming. I like to buy when it's actually broke out like we did with Holochain. Yes, you're paying a higher price. But I'm trading. I'm looking for higher probability. If you are a investor, this not, this might be a good position to buy if you really like it. Low risk to reward. Uh, sorry, high high risk to reward. You know, potentially your re reward is high um, if you buy it here because you know you're where you're wrong. But no, it's not too bad. This one. Uh, it's forming a bottoming pattern. It's not my strategy, and then you can see the fib level is being maintained as well. So sky is not too bad. I don't really know this too much about this coin. Sky XEM. Um, let's have a look at XEM. Come on, XEM guys, it broke market structure. That's why I talk about the importance. When it when there's no previous resistance, guys, it's just it's like an opposite of blue sky breakout, and it's down 30, 40 percent. Again, it can go up. Like I said, it can jump up to there. And but it, this will be a massive resistance, and I'll expect it to see some movement down. So I'm not really looking to trade. That's why the importance of market structure comes in, um, and I don't really like to trade them. So XEM, you could like it long term. Um, I'm not a huge fan of XEM for now, guys. It's up to you whether you guys are holding it. If you are holding it, you've seen some bounce. Uh, it, you could like to get out, but it has dropped so much that there could be usually two waves up, so it could have another wave up. But also, um, I've got a fib level drawn here. So there is potentially some support. I always talk about one two five with Holochain. Uh, one two five worked out really well. Um, 
sorry 1272 and 1272 seems to be holding for uh, XEM so that could be a potential support you know 1272 you can see it, it held support when it pulled back so in, on the other side obviously but 1272 there could be some uh, potential potential resistance there for it to hold uh, support there um, for XEM but that's that 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 is a clear example of what I was talking about how coins break down. Let's have a look at Pondix guys. It's another requested coin. Oh, it's above the daily moving averages. It tried to break out. And if you had bought it here, this would have been a decent buy opportunity when it was here. But it failed at previous resistance, guys. So unless it breaks out now above these levels. I'm not going to look to buy it. Um, so there's previous resistance here as well. I've drawn that line. That's a resistance, and it tried to break out again, and it formed a lower high. So now we can see maybe an equilibrium, and then break out. But it's not too bad, Pandex. Um, I would keep an eye on it, and there could be a potential breakout. So someone's requested it, and I've got here as well NPXX. So it is a decent coin that I will keep an eye out for. So. So guys, that, they, these were all your requests I've gone through. And um, some of the coins that I like, Theta is a coin that I really like. Um, I'm, I'm in a Theta position, um, and it's a project that I like long term. So you can keep an eye out for it. It's a project that I definitely like long term. I might move my stop up because this seems to be finding some resistance. But Theta is a coin that I like. Um, what else? ICX and NEO are two coins that I really like. They've had some decent moves today. Um, RVN was my most profitable trade last year. It's not a buy yet. Poly's had some crazy price action today. It's a coin that I like. So, guys, I'll make another video of coins that I like. I mean, I share with you guys uh, my thoughts and my favorite coins on my Twitter and my YouTube. So, I hope you guys enjoy it, guys. Again, if you enjoy it, guys, all I'd ask from you subscribe turn on the notification button and leave your Litecoin address below I'd really appreciate if you guys um, can comment turn on the notification button and subscribe to my channel it would really help me out I don't charge for courses if you have any questions guys you can email it to me my email is below any question or mentoring thing you can just email me and I'll try and help you out as much as I can but a lot of it is work guys you have to study and work yourself and there's a lot of free books out there that you can buy again if you email me I'll try and help you out so thank you very much for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys you know what to do smash that like button subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button if you want to win 250 dollars worth of xrp guys make sure you turn on the notification button and again also i mean i'm doing all these for free so turning on the notification button helps with the youtube algorithm and um, i don't really know how it all works i'm more of a technical analyst not a marketer um, but these technical analysis videos takes longer to make and i don't get many views but this seems to help you guys, so I will keep on making them. If there are any other coins you want me to make in the future, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment on the video or Twitter or email me with your list. Maybe I'll start a YouTube channel um, or a Facebook group, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on that, because uh, then we can communicate with each other a lot more. Like a really small community, maybe a Discord, it's completely free, guys. And maybe I'll start that. Let me know your thoughts on it. So thank you very much, guys. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family, guys. Um, Again, uh, we as early adopters, we're still early adopters. Uh, we need to talk about crypto and Bitcoin to our friends. I absolutely love Bitcoin, cryptocurrency and technical analysis. So I'll be keep on doing these videos. So thank you very much, guys. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.